G'day everyone. Um, welcome back to the Terraria 1.3.4 semi-expert super modded let's play. We have just been down into hell and mined up some hellstone, so we are in the process of creating some hellstone bars currently out of the hellstone we've mined and the obsidian that we have mined. And turns out we actually have a reasonable amount of hellstone, so I think it's time that we get crafting uh, some weapons and stuff. So, yeah, let's get into it. Right, let's craft Boomstick and Molten Fury. I'm just going to craft the elemental hell stuff like the Inferno stuff and the Fire Great Sword and stuff like that. I'm also going to craft the Hellwing Bow thanks to the Iron K Sushi mod and the Phoenix Blaster. Now the Enchanted Sapphire stuff, which, I don't know, it's, it's alright. It counts as a summon weapon though rather than a magic weapon and the uh, true upgrade of it is much better. We are also going to craft the diamond staff and then the enchanted diamond staff. And finally the enchanted emerald staff. And what I'm pretty much going to do is craft all of the enchanted versions so then I can get all of the true versions and then create like a super terror staff which is cool. Next magic weapon is the Flare Bolt, which is like an upgraded Water Bolt. It's faster, it's, it's pretty good. It's also a material in the Frigid Flash Bolt, so I'll make that in hard mode. And we used a Phoenix Blaster to create the Shadow Shot, which is the gun I sprited for the Spirit Mod. So far it doesn't actually seem that good, although later I, I found out that the bolts are homing. But yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. Um, but I did the spriting for it, so I'm, I'm very excited to see it in the game. So later on, we're going to go to the Aquatic Depths Biome, but first what we're going to do is fight the Queen Jellyfish Boss. And we're going to do this because the Queen Jellyfish Boss drops items that will help breathe underwater and enhance the underwater experience of the Aquatic Depths Biome. So I thought, why not, how about we just get that done first and then we'll go underground to the Aquatic Depths Biome. Alright! Oh, I keep saying that. Every time I start a video... I just, I just say all right. I don't know why. I'm just used to it now. Let's, oh, what? Do I need to wait for daytime? Oh, oh, damn. Well, in the meantime, might as well just go for a dive. Oh, let's work our way in. Slowly and carefully. Oh, we got ourselves a chest down there. And some marine ore. I should have got the, um, uh, Spelunk potions. That sea stars not like brackish clumps. What are these for? Oh, okay, cool. Used at the extractinator. Aqualite. I'm pretty sure there's there's aquatic depths chests down here, isn't there? I'm sure there is. What's that? Pearl. What are pearls used for? Ooh. Okay. Pearl Pike. Radiant stuff didn't doesn't matter because oh that was close. I need to come back down here with a spelunka potion so I can find the depth chests and stuff. Okay, it's nearly day. Oops, wrong thing. Let's just drop that there for a sec. Oh yeah, that's right, it drops Dive Man Sam. G'day Dive Man Sam, how are you going? Oh, that's Elijah. And we've got Crab Mount, sure why not. And Shark Fins. Yeah, that's fine, let's take a bunch of Shark Fins. Alright, now what could I craft with Shark Fins? Because I remember there was something I could craft with it. 
That wasn't it. That looks pretty cool, though. Mega Shark, Flood Tide. Ah, oh, no, skip. Yeah, I need to wait a little bit for that. And for that. And for that. Okay. Let's craft some Aqualite bars. Put you away. Ooh, 42. wonder what I can craft with all this. Depth chest. See, I swear I could get those. They, they, they exist. 85, 95. Critical strike increased by 6%. Attack speed increased by 8%. By allies. Okay, no, that, that doesn't really benefit me. That's the thing. Key of tides. Okay. Redescent staff. We're going to craft the shark storm, definitely. And, uh... Yep, alright. Okay, we'll get, first of all, I'll try the Hydra Cannon. That's actually decent. I like that. Um, Giza Staff. That's, that's kind of cool. Get to the let me get to the treasure bag. There we go. What is that thing? Three. Th oh, that's the calamity mod boss. I will not be fighting that just yet. Yeah, I don't want to spawn the calamity mod boss because that's a very late game boss. And the thing is that Siren uh, appears at any time. Oh, there's a depth chest. Nice one. Oh, actually, that'd be a good thing, because that means you can, like, spawn frost golems and stuff. Magic conch. Oh, this thing is good. I remember this. Defense increased by two. Oh. And it's a material. Ooh. Oh, that's a decent amount of acolyte ore. Nice. Illegal gun parts. Shark Storm. Yes, that's pretty good. I might as well craft this, because it's a range set. Let's craft the other armor. And the yo yo. I can't tell if that's any good or not. 9, 18, 39, 18, 38. I have a good amount of defense now. Alright, let's go and craft a mana flower. Yay! Which is a material, of course. So let's see what it's a material for. Deep focus orb. Arcane orb. Seen that somewhere. Healing flower and feeder flower. Nice. Okay. So we're good for the moment. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We got a reasonable amount done, even though it was quite a boring episode. I'm sorry it's a short length, but, oh, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. If you do enjoy the series, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content coming at some point, I'm pretty inconsistent at the moment because of school and other stuff. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. See ya.